easiest thing we want to do, and I, you'll see why I do it this way in just a minute, is I'm going to actually add a graphic right to this slide. I'm going to add some text here. We're going to put in Jeff's name here. It's Jeff Ponder. And I'm going to do uh, text scaling. I'm going to fit the container to the text. What that means is the text container is going to shrink to how much text I have. And that makes it easier uh, to deal with. Uh, when we're trying to do a cool background. So I might put this right down here in front of Jeff. Maybe we make it bigger. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then and then on the shape, I want to give it like a fill. But maybe I'll make it like, um, maybe I'll make it black, but like a little bit transparent. Maybe we'll come here to our margins and give it maybe just a little more room, maybe like 10 at the top and 10 at the bottom. Now. I want this to be on its own layer because I want to be able to turn it on and off and not always be forced to have it on this shot. But I want to make sure it lines up nice, which is why I've built it on this slide. One of the great things is when I copy and paste from slide to slide or cue to cue, it keeps the positioning. So now that I've built this and it's kind of where I want it, I'm going to take this and I'm just going to cut it. Then I'm going to go to my props editor because I want to build this on the props layer. The props layer is like a layer that lives independently above other cues fired. And I'm just going to come here to this and I'm going to paste it. And it put it in the same place on the slide, uh, which then I know will line back up. So this will be my Jeff title here. So if I come back to the show, so let's say I fire uh, me on one side, Jeff on the other, and I'm going to bring in Jeff's title so everyone knows who it is. I'm going to open up my props palette here, and you can see there's my prop with Jeff. Okay, and if I fire that, it comes in, in the right place, right over Jeff with transparency, and you'll see it's actually living on this props layer here. I could clear that layer, bring it back in, uh, and that way, uh, I could, the first time we go to Jeff, maybe I introduce him, there's his name, all is good. I'll click this X here and clear it. Now when I come back to it, I don't need it all the time, right? So, so a great way to have uh, uh, titles, lower thirds, those kind of graphics that exist above everything else. Thanks so much for joining us today, taking a look at how you could use Pro 7 in a live streaming environment. Hopefully this inspires you to build some of your own content and take a look at the tools you've been using in a live world. Think about how you could pivot them and use them in a virtual world. Definitely hit us up in the comments below if you've got questions or thoughts and uh, we'll see you again soon.